Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Welcome to Atlanta, everybody, in the Georgia Dome for the Chick-fil-A kickoff classic. Burke is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. And with that, we kick off our season. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 27. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Taken down at about the 29-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 29-yard line. around the 41-yard line. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. Here's a quick throw. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. <laughs> Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. Five-yard line. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. And that is just inexcusable. Hey, kill, kill, kill. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. Drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. And he is drilled at the four-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He makes the PAT. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. How pleasant could it be in Mount Pleasant? And for Oklahoma State, they've dropped two straight. The Chippewas take it by 13, a lucky enough number for them. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Clemson lines up for the kickoff. Robinson from the two. 
He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Walls, I'm sure, knows that when he comes on the road, he's going to get this kind of reception. But it seems like he feeds off, and it really doesn't bother him that much. I'm with you, Brad. I, I'm watching this guy play, whether it's been at home or on the road this year. One thing that has just stood out is his consistency as a quarterback. And I, I, I think his game seems to almost elevate when he gets on the road. And we've seen that over the years from guys where they just get so focused and they feel so challenged because they're on the road and people are doubting them that sometimes they play better. And he's done that. We'll see if he can do it again today. And he's tackled at the 42. He fires left side, and down he goes, right around the 30. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. this one out to the left again it's complete and he shoved out of bounds around the one yard line touchdown Aggies Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A nice seven play, 77 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Nice run to the left there. him hard at the 32. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 45-yard line. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. They come out on an empty backfield. And they push him out at about the 49. He 
he's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. From the 36-yard line, second down. the ground left side he's at the 20 the 10 touchdown Clemson oh my what a run that was oh I'll tell you what this kid is incredible he's got the moves the speed the power he's the total package converts the extra point. Coleman has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. From his own goal line. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. He's pushed out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. Receiver got it for the touchdown. They decided to go to the running back on that touchdown pass. Just a nice job by the quarterback of showing great patience here, going through his progressions, finally finding the back to get into the end zone. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes, so kudos to the quarterback. The extra point to tie this game up, and he tacks on the extra point. Texas A&M to kick. Johnson fields at the goal line. They'll bring him down at the 28. Well, it's early in this game right now, and you've got to wonder, can they keep this kind of pace up score-wise? You no, know, it's almost tick for tack at this point, but eventually I think these defenses will settle down, and this will become a more competitive game. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 48. So at the end of one quarter, we're deadlocked right now at 14. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Game 
gains his way to the 36-yard line. Makes it to the 27. That's good for gain on the yards. That brings in second and one. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And he's tackled in the open field. Forward to about the 20. That's good for a game of one yard. That'll bring up third and eight. Caught open field. He gets hit out of bounds at the five yard line. the extra point. A 10-play, 72-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Clemson is lining up to kick this one off. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Run there. Call it again at five yards. That brings him second and five. They come out in a five wide set. He gets to about the 41 yard line. Call it again at 16 yards. First and down. Strike complete. Tackle at the 47. He's at midfield. From the 47 yard line. First down. Five wide. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. This is a very well coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. So the Aggies wide receiver, we hope can make a comeback, get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Gaining eight on the play. Third down. 
They'll spread the field with five wide. They bring him down in the backfield. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. play for the defense that's a big time stop here by the defense I know we're only in week one but this defense looks like they're in midseason form with one quarter down I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads might be neck and neck the whole way Clemson is up by a touchdown Makes the grab and steps out right away. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. They'll bring him down at the 38. The Tigers use their second timeout. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Ward gains about a yard on the play. the 37. to the tight end incomplete. He's hit and taken down. Up seven points. And a man open touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Coleman has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Texas A&M's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. And you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. From their own 47-yard line, 
First down. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Texas A&M is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he's tackled around the 49-yard line. That's a team that's two under. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 28-14, Tigers. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. When we come to the studio, I like to give you a peek behind the curtain. I don't want to just give you scores and highlights and analysis. I want to let you know what happens in here. Pull it back, brother. You know how good these offenses were in the first half. How good were these offenses? So good, you were loving it. <laughs> you have this big persona, big tough defensive guy. You were loving that offensive performance. I don't know what you're talking about. I went to the snack room about five minutes into this game. Not and, true. And, uh, it, it's, it is fun. You, you do appreciate good offense. I mean, Sometimes it's really bad defense, and then sometimes you see the designs of plays and the offensive coordinator dialing up, perfect time to go long. Think about it. You get a few good, positive runs. Everybody starts to commit. You take shots down the field. Sometimes the offenses do dial up great plays. Sometimes the defenses afford them that opportunity by dialing up bad plays. Right now, the OCs are on point. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. It's time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Around the 43 yard line. That's a deal of 11 in the play. First and stop. Go, go, go. Check right, check right. He's easy to run. Go, go, go. Now he's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. And they make the stop at the 38 yard line. Game of 19 in the play. First and stop. To that quickly. Tackle made right around the 28 yard line. Really makes the set at the 28 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Mike, 55. Right there in the middle. 55. He's in the line. Check. No, no, no. No, no, no. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. in the open and he shoved out of bounds at the 23. That's good for a game of 11 yards. That'll make it 35. Mike 55! Mike 55! Check number 6! Check number 6! Alright, D, let's go. Alright, D. Fires out 
quickly to the tailback. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gained, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He scrambled inside the 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. Zings it over the middle. Touchdown. converts the extra point. A nine-play, 81-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. The score now, 28-21. Texas A&M gets set to kick this one away. From his own goal line, he's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Ball's kept his cool after a bad first half, Kirk, and they're right in this thing. You know, even when his team was down, uh, he just never seemed to panic. He was cool in the huddle. He got his teammates on the same page and has really just taken command of this offense. I think he's been unbelievable. I mean, his talent, I think, is through the roof. But I think it's his mental toughness is what really puts him into a category all by himself. Clemson is up a score. He fights forward to about the 29. He's under pressure. Nice catch, first down, he's knocked out. Forty-four-yard line. Quick throw. Very good tackle in space. see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. And they hit him in the backfield. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Clemson is up seven. Man, two, 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 two. Nice run to the outside. And he 
hits the PAT. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. Makes it to the 41. He makes his way to about the 42. That's a deal. That makes it first and 10. Roger, Roger. Hey, check right, check right. Yeah. Got an opening. Excellent open field tackle. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. The Tigers lead it by two touchdowns. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And they'll bring him down behind the line. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. He was a little erratic on that pass, but there's no denying that he can really hum it in there. He's scrambling, unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. Great play there by the D. It's early in the season, but they showed they don't get rattled at all. I give them a lot of credit. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 49. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 36. Tackled after a decent pickup. That brings him second and five. It's out to about the 17 yard line.
Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 17 yard line. Ward gets another handoff. And they get nice yardage on that run. Just under three to go in regulation. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Seminoles enter today's game ranked 22nd in the country. Uncharted territory for this team. How will they handle the pressure? We have got an all-out Donnybrook on our hands. Florida State has the edge, 7-0. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Coleman is lined up to kick this one off. Robinson fields at the goal line. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. And for Ball, what a night it's been. The thing that's been unique about watching him play is, of course, he can make throws. But I think his athletic ability and his playmaking ability has really caught this defense by surprise. And when you look at these two touchdown passes, he's making quick decisions, and he's getting the ball to his receiver to give him a chance to make the play. Well, his team is trailing, so he's going to have to keep up the high level of play. They're set to go for another round. He flings it. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. Going deep, lays it out there. And he's taken down at the 18-yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Throwing right. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Steps out of bounds around the 15-yard line. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Five wide. Throws to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. Well, these guys lost a lot of talent to graduation last year, and they've got to put some new faces in there. And this guy looks like he's the real thing, and he can help in that area. And 
and he tacks on the extra point. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And they'll get him in the backfield. Two-yard loss for the halfback. How about the hit by the defender? Just a great job of pursuing the ball, and that's how you finish off a tackle. He's tackled at about the 45. A yard, if that, on the quarterback keeper. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. And down he goes at the 43. Seems as though they didn't want to risk stopping the clock on an incompletion, so they kept it on the ground. Fourth down now. And this is when you have to overpower the defense to keep moving the ball. That time, they didn't succeed. They'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. Touchback. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Down at the 33 yard line. They come out in a five wide set. It's intercepted, and that should do it. He's at the 30 to the 20. Big time interception, and this game's over. From the 11-yard line, first down, under a minute left in the game. He takes a knee. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down here the rest go, of this go. clock. Orange three. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. So the Aggies have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive. But if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing, but they can't build to the future around his abilities for sure.